I haven't really filmed much of what we've done today because I've been mainly working underneath and it'd just be awkward to film. But I'll tell you what, what we've done. <laughs> So we've put a wastewater tank underneath here, you can just about see. Uh, then we've put the fresh water tank under here. I'm going to get a light. There we go. Now we can see that's under there. And then we've just put the water heater in. Yeah. So lots of pipes to be installed holes to be drilled. The water heater is a bit of a pain because it was originally meant to go just under this section here. So it would have been just under here so the gas would just go under the floor there and straight out underneath to the to the water heater. It was too tight basically it wouldn't it was it was a couple of centimeters too tight to fit the water heater in under there. So there was another there was two more places one was just too too much of a pain uh, and the second one was a bit less of a pain, so we've gone with the second one, which is just here. The water's not a problem, but I'm going to have to root gas now out of the cupboard that the gas bottle's in, which uh, I think means you have to use you have to use copper pipes, not just not just the rubber hose. And look into that a bit more, but it makes things a little bit more complicated. Maybe I'll run it outside of the van underneath. One thing that this causes is this was going to be the floor height. Yeah, um, and now it's going to have to be higher because of, because of these, and this, this still needs to be under the floor. But I need to be able to access this as well to drain it. I don't think there's anything that's gone smooth so far, so be ready for that. Even the simplest of things, something always crops up. Right, until tomorrow. Bit of a grim day, very cold, um, and I've only got a couple of hours, so I'm just going to take the seats out today. I can't imagine this being too difficult of a task. It's a good job because all the instructions are in what I can only assume is German. I'm going to take this front one out and put the base in, the spinny swivel base, and then take the twin seats out the other side because uh, um, there's a guy coming tomorrow who's got a single seat and he's going to swap with them. So that's it for today. Installing the Urbis Spatcher. The best place for it to go, according to the internet, is under the seat. Uh, but there's a lot of wires and things under here at the moment. Uh, some fuses and stuff. Uh, there's a lot more room under the passenger seat, actually. But that'll cause problems when we, we need to get the um, the heating pipe. That's going to have the hot air flowing through it through the back here, onto the side and out of the out of the the side. Uh, seat that's going to be here. So it needs to go under the driver's seat basically The tighter of the two um, So I'm going to move these wires about now And see if it'll fit in there, which I'm pretty sure it will Okay, so If you come to do this be aware there's a horrible little bracket Which was uh, just here which just took me about 40 minutes or half hour to get off um, It had this little sensor on it which I think is something to do with the airbags, so that will need putting back on. And this this little bracket held held that level, so I'm assuming it needs to be level for for some sort of reason. Uh, but this is the remainder of the bracket, so I'll have to I'll probably have to make something for that. I did try and put put it in the back here, um, but wherever you find a place like right, that's all going to work. And then you look underneath, and something's stopping it. Ninja Star. Okay, so we've got the herbal spatches all in now. The heaters all in there. We'll tidy all this up later. Pipe out here. Beautiful. Yeah, it was meant to come out here, but it was kinking inside. Underneath, uh, there's a little pocket that goes in here. Um, so I put the pipe up there. So it won't be, it'll be well out of the way and not into, into the oncoming air or anything like that if you're driving. Um, here's the installation, installation. Still need to put the fuel feed on. 
I uh, put a little hole in this pipe here to drain any condensation um, because it has got this little kind of shape where it might get condensation building up in here so that hole just lets that drip out uh, exhaust out here now I need to find a fuel feed. I think I'm gonna have to drop the tank. Either gonna drop the tank or take a line up to buy the fuel filter, but uh, I'll drop the tank first and have a look. Right, got the drop the tank uh, and managed to get the fuel pump out, which was a bit of a bitch to be honest. This is the feed for the engine. This is the return, and then this here is an auxiliary. But I put the pipe on it as, as, before I took all this off the tank. Actually, I put I put a pipe on it and had a quick blow and suck on it, and uh, nothing nothing was coming out or no bubbles. I've just popped a drill down here. And it just popped through and now now it's clear. Um, so I'll put this on here and this on here, and then I'll cut. This comes with the herb spatula, uh, which is for putting directly into the tank. Well, that's a bit too much hassle, so. I'll just cut this to size and stick that pipe on there and should be good to go. Welcome to the underside. I'm currently just covering the fuel line for the herb dispatcher with some, some heat protective uh, sleeving. And it'll also stop if it's rubbing on anything. So this is the original fuel line here. And I'm just covering it with this. Cause it does go up and over the exhaust. I mean, there is a heat shield there. It goes over the prop shaft here. And then behind this heat shield. It'd probably be okay, but just to make sure it's nice to put this sheath in on it. And so get up here into the feed to the air dispatcher. Okay, so the air dispatcher is all wired in, just kind of primitively. Like this, for instance, I know it looks really bad, but it's all right, hopefully. Uh, so let's see if it's going to work. Okay. Put something on the screen which says initializing. So I'm guessing that's good. There's no fire or smoke to start with. Mando, that'll do. Six degrees. Six degrees what? What like it is now, isn't it? What do you want it? That's like 23. 25. Okay, so this is the Herbus Matcher pump getting going. Hope we're going to start seeing some diesel come up here in a minute. I think maybe we should have filled the filter with diesel first actually. It's probably going to take a few uh, a few attempts to turn this on and off again. Okay, so it's given up. I think it, from what I've read you need to turn them on and off a few times before it starts getting any, uh, any fuel. It's coming. Good stuff. It's going to work. Wow. All nice and neat, kind of. Uh, I've got to put this, I think it's a crash sensor, uh, just a cable tied it back on. I've earthed it out down here with some other herbs. Wrap these cables up here rather than cutting them and soldering them, uh, just in case we take out one day, put it in something else. Uh, these are the fuses here for the, for the night heater. The live goes out here. Gonna go through through this little gap here, down this conduit, which will go down to the larger batteries down by this wheel arch here. Okay, a bit of a catch up then. We're now putting conduit and wiring in, which is taking a bit longer than expected, as most things have. Conduit along the top here, uh, down the ribs where it's required. And we've managed to get some down these backside bits here as well. Um, which is going to be handy for or for getting power into the back of the garage. And we've got this big one that goes all the way from front to back. It's just got all sorts in it. And then we'll be moving on to underfloor. Mate, there's a few wires under the floor, but not many. Mainly water pipes going to be under the floor. Alright. Wish me luck. Okay. So we've got Got most of the electrics done now. Well, I said most of the electrics done. We've got most of it, the wires installed. And we're going to move on to doing some water pipes. Just a bit of change of scenery, really. And then we get the floor in. Um, so nice and tidy on the floor. Cleaned it all out. Uh, we're going to bring 
water, this is just the filler pipe, which will go up through the wall here. Uh, we're going to bring the feed up here now from the fresh water tank underneath. Sort the water heater out, the water pump's going to be here, expansion tank, and then pipes up into the centre. Um, where we will have the sink here. Uh, then we'll split off and a, a hot and cold come across the floor here to the shower on this side and we'll also split a hot and cold off to the back where we're going to have the outside shower and then some waste some waste just out 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 the side out, out the bottom here where the weight the waste tank is underneath here uh, so currently we're just putting some we've got grommets in and where the we're cutting this one because it doesn't quite fit so we're going to split it and get it in round this filler tank, the filler pipe. Thanks for watching. All links to products, materials, everything else that I've used will be in the description along with some other little handy links. And then at the end of this really cool little outro thing, there's some info on the ebook. Cheers guys.